You were watching Wisconsin Women, and we are here today at Dreammaker Bath and Kitchen of Madison. We'll be talking with them coming up. First, we're going to talk about Girls on the Run of South Central Wisconsin, which is near and dear to my heart, and I know also to Christine Benedict. She's the executive director. This is an amazing program that inspires girls mm -hmm. to unlock their power and potential. It's just, just oh. beautiful. So for those people that haven't had you know, the good fortune to experience it, can you kind of talk about what Girls on the Run is? Yeah, sure. We are an after-school empowerment program. Mm -hmm. We predominantly serve third, fourth, and fifth grade girls, although we do have a small program for middle schoolers as well and we are bringing kids together on small teams led by amazing volunteers to take advantage of our really well researched and inspiring curriculum um, to help kids build important life skills mm -hmm. that are going to help them navigate the challenges of adolescence so they pack a lot into a single season and then they are also ready to run a 5k at the end of the season then they get to bring a family member or a friend to run with them and experience sort of all of their power and potential right there um, through a run. Oh, yeah, and it's you a did great that, program. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so my daughter, daughter has done yeah. that a few times too, and it's just always been just an amazing experience. They just the coaches are amazing. They make it so much fun. You know, you get lap counters, special little thing. You know, as you go through mm -hmm. your laps, and you just get to spend time with your friends, and you just really learn and grow and get a sense of achievement. You know, yeah. for yeah. completing the five k. Yeah, and I think it really fills a different void. I think so much programming as kids get into third, fourth, and fifth grade. It starts to become competitive. They start to focus on sort of what, they, what we call the performance climate, which is also great, but we're about a mastery climate, this idea where you can mm -hmm. be on a team, you can support teammates, yeah. but it's not competitive. You can move your body, you can think about how much joy you're getting from that movement, but again, it's not competitive. It's about yes. lifting up yourself, your team members, your coaches. Um, these incredible people in your life. And so yeah, I, I love think that. it yeah. something different yeah. after school. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So during the whole gir uh, Girls on the Run season, that's part of what they all experience. You're outside, you get to be with your friends, you're taking care of your body, you're getting to know the, your teammates, so to speak, mm -hmm. and everything. It's just such a win-win. I just love this. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. So is there anything else that they experience during this? Yeah, so those life skills that we're talking about, the yeah. curricular experience, each practice in those, so they have 90 minute sessions. Okay. They meet 16 times over the course of the season. And each lesson has a different focus. So maybe it's a skill like empathy, or maybe mm -hmm. it's thinking about how to choose a good friend or how to be a good friend. And they're actually practicing these skills mm -hmm. during the lessons. And I think it's, it's content that they're not really getting anywhere else. Mm -hmm. They are learning some different techniques like how to stop and take a breather before they respond so they can think about responding versus reacting. Again, all those things that are going to really set them up for success in those challenging years ahead. Yeah. Um, so yeah, wow. so they're... And you should have a class like women on the road. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. 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 all the time. <laughs> every time I coached, every time I go to practice, I think, is this lesson for me or is it for, uh, <laughs> yeah, is, I mean, is it for eight-year-olds or is it for uh, middle-aged women? Because uh -huh. I could use this yeah. lesson on positive self talk every single time exactly yeah. Yeah. and i've seen how well enjoyed this was by my daughter and her friends too but i'm wondering if you have a specific you know impact story that maybe you want to share with us well i think one of the things that's super powerful for us to tell is that before the pandemic i think a lot of people have associated us with this after school like a paid after school experience that families invest in there is a fee to participate in the program but we have been able to change that at, at some of our most under-resourced schools in the community. Nice. And we bring that programming entirely free to schools with the highest free and reduced lunch rates. And so we have now um, hundreds of kids that are benefiting from um, this programming where there is an, an opportunity gap where they are not getting access to the same kind of after school opportunities that other kids might be. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to provide free shoes, um, healthy snacks, kind of give every everything a kid would need to safely and joyfully participate in the program. And so it's some of those impact stories where kids are talking about getting that 
brand new pair of shoes, oh, yeah. getting exposure to a big celebratory event, things that they haven't had the chance to experience mm -hmm. before. Um, and uh, that it, that feels especially rewarding oh, and, yeah. it, I, and an important part of our story to tell now that yeah. um, that we are able to bring this programming for free to, to so yeah. many communities. Yeah. And for them to have that goal of the 5K after and everything, just kind of like brings it all home, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So to 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 kind of picture it, the kids are meeting after school at their school with about fifteen of their friends, teammates. Mm -hmm. They're you know they're getting the lesson delivery from those coaches, but then they get to see like you know, 1,200 kids coming together that at is the 5K. Amazing. That's an awesome. epic yeah. celebration of Girl Hour. Yeah. I mean, off in there. Yeah. I mean, it, yes. is, exactly. it is a party. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Awesome. So I highly recommend it. Thank you Thank for coming you on so and sharing with us. Oh, so good to see you. For Wisconsin Women, I'm Stacey Hansen here with Lee Aker. We'll be back after the break.